welcome to Linux Made. Thank you for watching. Uh, today we will take a look at file links in Linux. So uh, links are similar to what they call shortcuts in the Windows world. Um, their implementation is quite different, but conceptually they're very similar. Uh, so we will take a look at different types of links and how to create them. There are two types of file links in Linux. There are hard links and also uh, symbolic links or sim links for short. Uh, the first type of link is a normal link or often referred to as a hard link. A hard link is an entry in the file system that provides a name for and points to a specific inode. Uh, although uh, talking about how uh, inodes and the Linux file system works in depth is beyond the scope of this video, uh, let's just say that e every file has an inode and one of these inodes can have multiple entries in the file system at different locations. Uh, the operating system keeps a counter of how many entries exist for each file and when that counter reaches zero, the file is deleted. Once, once all the references to um, this file are gone, the inode itself is removed. Um, deleting, renaming, or moving uh, another hard link to a file does not impact any of the other entries. Um, one disadvantage of using a hard link is that it is confined to one file system. So you can't create a hard link on one disk uh, to a file on another disk. And uh, secondly, we have um, symbolic links. Uh, symbolic links, often referred to as sim links, are special files that point to another location within the file system. So the file holds the destination path pointed to by the sim link. Um, when the sim link is specified in the path, it is resolved to the destination location. Uh, so um, the destination path does not have to exist and moving or renaming the original file will break the sim link because it is pointed at a specific location. Um, sim links are probably used more than hard links. Um, they work across file systems because they simply point to another location relative to um, either relative to the current path or um, the the root um, of the file system. So let's take a look at how to create links. So first let's take a look at what links look like in the directory structure. So if I list it out here, um, you'll notice um, uh, if you look at the first column, uh, you see the lines that start with an L, uh, some that start with a dash, and others with a D. Uh, the lines that start with an L are sim links, as the, the top one here. Um, the um, items that uh, stop, start with a dash are regular files, and the lines that start with a D uh, indicate a, a directory. Uh, there are other codes that you will see, uh, particular in slash dev, for example, that represent block and character devices, but uh, this is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Um, so to the right, uh, there are several bits that indicate uh, file permissions. Um, we'll look at device files and uh, permissions in another video. Um, but to the, to the right of the file permissions is a number um, right here. And uh, for uh, directories, this number represents the number of subdirectories contained within it. Um, for files, it shows how many hard links there are for a single inode. Now, as you can see here, um, files one and two only have one entry pointing to their inode. Um, but if you look at files three and four, both show two because there are two entries pointing to the same inode. Uh, you can uh, use uh, the stack command to see information about uh, a file uh, entries inode 
So if we go stat file three dot txt for example, uh, we'll see an inode number here. And if we look at file four, we will notice that it has the same inode. Um, that's because it's one file and just two hard links to that file. If I were to look at file two, for example, uh, you'll notice that it has a different inode because it is a different file. I can create a new hard link by using the ln command. Um, the ln command comes from the GNU core utils package on Linux, but it is part of the, uh, has been part of the Unix system utilities since um, Unix's conception. So um, it will be there on all Unix-like systems. Um, uh, let's uh, create a third link to the file pointed to by files three and four. So let's first list the directory again. And we need um, to use the ln command. We will specify file three.txt, uh, which is the source file, um, or the file we want uh, to create a new hard link to. And then our new file will be file5.txt. So now if we list the directory, uh, again, we'll see that files 3, 4, and 5 all have three entries for the single inode. And if we look at the uh, file5.txt and file4.txt, we see that they are indeed um, the same inode, just different entries. References uh, also do not uh, have to be in the same directory. Um, so if I wanted to create a hard link to file one, and I wanted to uh, create it in my um, home directory, I could simply do this. And then if I do, if I list it out here, Let's use a dash L. You will see that it indeed um, it does exist in uh, my home directory. I can delete uh, links just like any other file. So if I want to delete uh, file four, for example, I can just delete it and list here. I only have two references to um, the inode now, so I can, if I remove files three and files five, and file five, I will uh, have completely deleted the file because once all the references are gone, then um, the, the file is deleted from the file system. And now let's take a look at symlinks. Um, symlinks are also created using the ln command but with the minus s switch. So let's create a symlink to file one. So we do minus s file one dot txt and we'll call this file three dot txt. And if we list the directory again, we can see that file three dot txt is pointing to file one .txt. So all symlinks will actually show you uh, what they point to in the, uh, the when you list the directory. Um, you can also use the uh, read link command um, to read the contents of a symlink as well, uh, which is handy for uh, if you're using a script or whatnot. So as you can see, file three currently points to file one, um, but I can uh, remove file one and the symlink uh, file3.txt still exists and it's pointing to a file called file1.txt that does not exist. So uh, although the symlink exists, it's broken. So if I try to cat out file3.txt, it will tell me that there is no such file or directory because although the symlink exists, the, um, the file that it points to does not. 
For learning to use any new command, I always encourage you to take a look at the man page. Uh, it's there, it's convenient, and it's often the only documentation you'll need. So just have a look at the man page. Uh, one other uh, switch you might be interested in is the dash F or for switch, which uh, allows you to override an existing uh, override an existing. Uh, link both uh, a hard link and symbolic link and there are also other switches in here as well and it's just good to have a look to see what your options are so that wraps up this quick look at links in Linux we looked at what links are both hard and symbolic links and how to create them how to use them thanks so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please like and subscribe We'll be looking at other interesting Linux topics and posting more tutorials soon. See ya.